Okay, so here I am on the PC Mill 125. I have uh, gotten it up. We've turned it on, uh, referenced everything, and are ready to go. So we're going to basically come down and we're going to do a face mill cut, uh, a facing cut on the top of this. We're going to remove about an eighth of an inch of material here uh, as we take a look at this. Now, in order to do this, so if we come back over to our control panel, uh, we need to be a uh, couple of things in our mode dial. Make sure that we're going to go up into MDI mode. Notice it's also showing MDI mode right here. And I'll make sure that I'm also on my program screen. Now, I was already there, of course, but if you're on a different screen, you got to make sure that you're on the program screen. Now, uh, looking down here, I'm going to turn on my spindle. So to do that, it's a MO3S1200 end of block to kind of put the line of code up there and then i'm going to come right down here and cycle start you'll notice that my spindle's on okay at this point i'm going to come back now and go into jog mode so and we're going to jog this over to the top of the part so and we're going to kind of come down and touch off the top of the part now when i'm in jog mode i'm at 100 percent right now as we get closer, we're going to make sure that we back our feed rate down. So slow the feed rate down to something. Remember, you got to control this. And we're going to kind of get close and we're going to come in and touch off or get fairly close. All right. Now, I'm not touching yet, but I'm close there. So at this point, I'm going to go to my incremental. Now, remember, in your incremental mode, this is uh, one tenth. This is one thousandths, this is ten thousandths. I'm gonna go ahead and move it ten thousandths at a time until I can come down and actually hear it touch. So here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. One. There we go. We were hitting like about 120. So you realize I came down about an eighth of an inch away and now I moved over. So now I'll go back into jog mode. So get the tool off of the part. Now I want to reference this so I know exactly how much uh, I'm going to remove. So we're going to come over here into our position button. So, and notice right now, let's go into position all. So here's my uh, position all button. So, and we take a look at this. Uh, my relative actual position is at 2.3696. I don't like that number. I'm going to correct that and take care of that. We're going to change that to zero so I know how much material I'm removing. So here we go. I'm going to press Z. So that opens up the preset and the origin soft key. So I will origin that out. Now notice my Z is set to zero. And I want to take this at 125 thousandths. So here's my 100 thousandths. Now I'm going to press my Z negative. Make sure that your cutting tool is off of the part when you do this. So here's my 100 thousandths. So notice it moves down. So I'm going to go to the 10 thousandths now. So 100. So that's 10 thousandths. There's 20 thousandths. So now I'm at 120 thousandths. Come back to my incremental. Let's move it by a thousandths at a time now. So here we go. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So now I am at 125 thousandths and I'm ready to cut. Make sure when we do this, we're gonna start our feed rate. So we're gonna go back now into jog mode. So I just shut the machine off, but so I'm just as, so we're gonna have to turn that spindle back on. So I'll go back into MDI. So make sure that you're in MDI mode, go into my program screen. Type in MO3S1200 end of block. So cycle start. Turn the spindle back on. Go into jog mode. Make sure you're at 20% on your feed rate. And uh, again, we talked about radial engagement. So I want that uh, cutting tool. So make sure that your cutting tool is only about two thirds of the radial engagement into the part and uh, here we go so now i can cut it i'm removing an eighth of an inch of material off this part right now so so hopefully the glare isn't uh, too much where you can actually see this 
So I'm gonna kinda come off of the part. So we're gonna move over into Y. So kinda back over that way. And then we're gonna take it back now X minus. And we're gonna remove all of that. Again, this is called facing. So this is a facing operation that we're doing. So to clean that up. Now, once I've got that completely faced, I'll stop the machine. So we'll turn the spindle off. So I'll stop the machine, we'll pull that off. We'll take a measurement, we'll flip it over to the other side so we know how much material we need to remove uh, on this and we can take that down to our finished size.